Some more men's flyweight action here. Cage number two, day number two. The IMF 2021 World Championships and one of the biggest teams at this tournament is the team of Kazakhstan. And that's San Zaki Bekov. He will be in the blue corner. And he'll be taking on India's Mahbub Khan. We have seen both Kazakhstan and India claim victories within this cage earlier today. Which one of these talented young men will see their hand raised as they move on or look to move on to the next round of the competition tomorrow. So here we go. Men's flyweight action. Datsan Zaki Bebekov from Kazakhstan in the blue corner. Mahbub Khan Mohammed from India. In the red corner, me, Brian Lacey, here in Abu Dhabi, the Jiu Jitsu Arena, which is alight with mixed martial arts all this week as it hosts the IMAF 2021 World Championships. And that's an in the blue corner, he's got excellent movement, keeps that low base, tries to find a way, find an angle. And Mahbub Khan Mohammed, I don't know much about his background in martial arts, but one possible giveaway is he's got quite a nice little cauliflower ear growing there on that left-hand side. Right-hand side, sorry, of his face. Potentially, we'll look at to see if he looks to get it to the mat. Patient opening from these two. Very different to all the fights we've seen, the previous nine fights before they've started at some pace. These two feeling each other out. Southpaw, orthodox stance. Nice inside leg kick from Mahbub. Heavy turned, really talked through the hips. Kept on the inside. And one thing you can see, there might be a tell. They're wearing the shin guards, but that sound very heavily strapped. Left, right leg, but in on the takedown attempt is Mahbub. Mahbub now pressuring that sound up against the cage. That sound makes space beautifully, turns around. Good reactive wrestling there from the Kazakhstan fighter. <laughs> that sounds still pressuring Mahbub against the cage. Mahbub with now with that underhook on the far side. They turn, do -si do separate back. Into the center of the cage they go. Straight right down the middle, met by a smile by Mahbub from India. Oh, nice entry there. Good reactions once again from the Indian fighter, but that's a now intent on getting this to the mat himself and does so brilliantly. Goes for the high crotch, turns the corner, and now settles here in half guard. And it was Mahbub who was the first one to... Uh, Pull the trigger on the takedown attempt. But let's see what he got, he's, he wants or what he can do off of his back here. Building his base very nicely back up. Great right. stuff there. This fight stops as a TKO injury in favor of the red corner representing Israel. Again, that's an in. That's a great timed entry. Oof, just at the end of the round as well. And you talk about timing with strikes, timing and range with strikes, but it's equally important, if not more, with uh, with takedown attempts like that. Time your opponent's forward momentum. Catch them on the way in with your level change. And then the effort you need to get your opponent to the mat, much reduced has basically used their energy against them. And that was put on display right at the end of that round by Datsan Zaki Bekov from Kazakhstan. Mahbub Khan Mohammed from India, though, showing some nice moves himself. The get up, especially from uh, the far side of the cage, right in front of his corner. Under the pressure, the very strong pressure and technical pressure from uh, Datsan Zaki Bekov. That was impressive, super impressive to get back to his feet like that. 
He is the first one off his stool. Next up, Datsan Zaki Bekov to his feet. Kazakhstan in the blue corner in the form of Datsan Zaki Bekov. India's Mahbub Khan Mohammed in the red corner. Both here, both competing, looking to buy it and find their way through this flyweight bracket. With the aim of trying to claim a goal for their country. Now those first three minutes, they'll have taken some data. They'll have learned lots about each other within that. And now what adjustments have they, have their corners seen that they can try and unlock? To try and switch the momentum, gain the momentum in this fight. One thing Mabu Khan will be slightly more cautious of it is charging in with any attacks. So at the end of that first round, just how easy Datsan was able to take him down once he timed that forward movement from Mahbub. Oh, a nice shot, sitting down on those combinations there, Datsan. And now timing the takedown. And it's high IQ stuff, it really is. Part of the game of mixed martial arts isn't just the weapons you bring to the, uh, the table but also how you can manipulate your opponent's reactions, how you can get them thinking about one thing and then you attack with another. And that's exactly what Datsan did there, sat heavily on some strikes, show some nice combinations, move forward, looked like he was about to throw more, got Mahbub thinking about that. And then as he was thinking about the hands, the level change came and so did the takedown and now Datsan finds himself in his top position with pretty much a minute, minute and 10 seconds to play with. And Mahbub was able to get back to his feet in the first round, but now you add a bit of fatigue to that element. You can see that Sand doing very well, shelfing that leg. You see he has his left leg up with it, uh, his foot based on the floor with the right leg of uh, Mahbub. Well, now both legs shelved, resting over his. And if, if they're shelved, you can't build the base from them. Just good technique. Now he does it on the other side. Superb technical understanding. Oh, nice right hand. Doesn't quite find its way through. Mabu tries to make space, but as he does, that sand holding onto that right ankle. Now he'll base his leg up. Final 10 seconds. Oh, now it's a heavy combination from top. And again, just eye-catching stuff. Really makes a mark. Very, very impressive indeed. Technical performance, mature performance. And it's just those little moments, especially that just the awareness just at the end of the round. Final 10 seconds. Really make your mark. Catch the judges' eyes. Make it an easy way for them to cross who took that round? And as we move into round number three, Mahbub Khan Mohammed from India. He has shown us some skill, but now he needs to really, really dig deep. Another sign of just how much the IMAF tournaments have grown over the 10 years, 10 years, a decade of competitions. He's just looking at the teams, the nations that have joined us, that the highest rate of participation is this year. 56 nations, I believe, with 421 athletes coming to, uh, to compete. <laughs> they hug it out at the start of the round. And it's all about that healthy competition, love, respect, testing yourself on this stage against these talents and seeing countries like India now growing, evolving, not just with the size of the team they're bringing, but the skill set they've got, and equally so with Kazakhstan. Known for uh, their striking, their boxing, they do extremely well at the Olympics with, uh, with 
their boxers, obviously Triple G, a talisman over there. But mixed martial arts has captured that country's heart. And you can see it in the, uh, the young fighters and the talented fighters, just like that Sanzaki Bekov. Look how technically good he is. His understanding of range, the combinations. Look at that, steps outside, mixes it up to the body. Switches stances, fluid stuff from somebody who has probably only been training for a small amount of time in comparison with the, the potential length of time that they could uh, be on this journey for. Keeps going to the body here, Datsano fakes upstairs, goes for the body, and now let's see if Wiley's got Marboob thinking about the hands. Can he go for a takedown? Marboob though, saying, showing he's got some power himself. The right hand, oh, comes across. This time he's able to defend. Good work from the Indian fighter. Second attempt comes in. This time Datsun in on a single leg. Can he complete this? Can he get the takedown? Oh, nice. Elevates, trips the standing leg. Now potentially can finish this inside control. Mabu back to his feet. Mabu trying to make space. Oh, looking for a takedown of his own. Switches round. Oh, that's an just so reactive. So, so good. Technically brilliant reversal there from him. And now just establishing, calming the, uh, the Tasmanian devil like action of a. Uh, Mahbub Khan Mohammed pushing him down to the mat once again. And we will see if Kazakhstan will claim yet another spot in tomorrow's round. Final 10 seconds here of this contest. And there we have it. Nothing but respect there. And that's Zaki Bekov. Looks fairly happy with his morning's work there. And it will be, should it go that way, a learning curve for Mabu Khan Mohammed. And all respect to him coming out here, testing himself and showing some real skills as well. A tough, tough draw, a tough contest. But a bright future still for that young man, Mahbub Khan Mohammed. We will wait for the announcement. And to do that, we just need to hand it to one man, Mr. Ricky Wright. Hands on cage two, your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner representing Kazakhstan.